What's going on, everybody? Oh my God, I feel like it's been forever. Oh, man, it actually has been forever, man. So I just figured I'd go ahead and start in here, man. There's some shout-outs to everybody. Hope you guys are good. We've uh, had a chance to rebuild a lot of stuff. Uh, as you can see, we've had a chance to build some stuff because, you know, we haven't been able to stream. Uh, so it is good to see everybody. We are uh, back in our tentative spot here. We've got old Bessie out here still working. Um, so she is uh, she is actually uh, doing pretty well. Uh, got everything updated. And amazing how much four months puts you out of date on the PC. So if those guys coming back into it, it's like, yeah, I've just got to get back into it. More power to you, man. I don't want to do this too many more times. So, uh, so basically, we've essentially got uh, everything uh, pretty much ready to go on the old PC. Uh, figured out it was a power supply is failing. Um, and so they are going to be sending me a new one once they receive mine. So it got out, sent out. Uh, so I'm uh, expecting a week, week and a half uh, you know, something like that. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I figured I'd go ahead and, and try it out and then see what's going on. So, uh, other than that, man, we've just been trying to work with everything and get everything hooked up. Remember my gauge set up. So we got that finally up and working here, uh, with all of the, all of the stuff with the button box up as well. Uh, this new stream deck attachment here onto the side of the, uh, of the, of the wheel. So things have been good. <laughs> oh, well, thank you there. Wonder. Appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you there very much, man. 50 Canadian dollars. There it is, man. Appreciate that wonder as well, man. Starting off the evening with a kick. Welcome back. Well, it's good to be back. Um, I appreciate the double Ds. It's good to see everybody. John as well. What's up, man? Freightliner. Hammer Mike, what's up? Justin Z, thanks there for your uh, membership back up, man. Appreciate you, buddy, uh, as well. And a lot of the guys resubbed throughout these uh, this past month here where we've been on this, like, nasty kick. So, anyway, uh, hopefully um, – Hopefully we can kind of get back in the swing of things, show off some, you know, I'm still kind of getting mods updated, so just give me a little bit. We've got multiplayer to kind of get squared away back on this. Um, so I'm trying to just get ahead of the game and try to get all my stuff because that's a lot of stuff. I was like getting these profiles back up to speed. They were like in some of those like 138 mods and 139. I was like, oh my God, like this is going to take a while. So anyway, we are, uh, <laughs> so hopefully we're kind of back in. So what's up, Jeremy? Good to see you, man, as well. Shelton as well. Uh, Road Roller, hello. Alex, what's up? Keith, Seth Miller, hello, 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 hello. Michael B, what up, man? TV6, hello. Uh, we did, yes, so we did. You're seeing partially of the new rig here, but yes, we got the new rig built. Um, everything is pretty much done. I've got a few cable management deals, but I'm not going to do it until we get the PC back in place, get everything hooked up, then we're going to start our videos, which I had started, but, you know, and you're ripping everything out. It's kind of hard to finish up, so... Yes, uh, you will get to see some of it, I think, through this other secondary camera. And I'm going to plan on doing some other type of camera view. I haven't figured that one out yet, but um, eventually uh, eventually, we'll try to get that one back. So what's up, old-timer, Master Dork? Hello. Good to see you, man. Hope you guys are doing well. Patrick D. as well. Mac Days Gaming, what's up? Uh, good to see you there, Modern Day as well. Uh, as well, Pedro, what's up, man? What's up? I am, I'm back, man. Jesse, what's up? Good to see you there. Lisa Anderson, hello. Uh, next up, I have no idea. We're in the experimental multiplayer stuff right now, if that is your thing, which wouldn't you know that I'd go ahead and get, like, you know, all of the TMP sounds, you know, video up. Oh, by the way, mods, if you guys have not, if you if you guys are watching, if y'all not seen my TMP, how to get custom uh, single player mods inside of TMP for your sounds, Throw that link up there so everyone can see that, man. Thank you there, Scott. Yeah, so this is actually going to be my new overlay. I'm going to keep this one because I like this one. It matches. Um, a nice, uh, a good friend of mine here in chat uh, actually did all of our relogoing and rebranding. And it turns out that everything that I like in gaming is red, black, and gray. So I decided I found this uh, I found this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and switch up at least uh, my, overlook, my overlay and stuff right now to feature that red, gray, and black with the emblem and logos and all that stuff with the brands. Track Racers, red, black. Digital Storms, red and black. You know, <laughs> everything I got is red and black. My gloves, my Sparco gloves are red and black. Like, my shoes are red and black. So, yeah, anyway. There you go, man. Hey, right, what's up, Dan? Good to see you guys, man. It is, uh, all right, man. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's get in. i got to figure out which one this is. Kaboom. <laughs> I love that, man. Got some new alert sounds in there, man. Cobra Game Connect Creations there. $10 tip, man. Uh, good evening, FTC. Great to see you again. Cool cat. Well, it is good to see you, man. Uh, and thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for the subs. It's throwing subs in there every now and again, too. I see there's Justin Wallace coming in, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, all right, man. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't even really have that much red and black captains. Actually, my two least favorite, like, bolt shirt colors. But 
everything else is red and black in my life. So, anyway, <laughs> I do not drive a red and black truck. No, sir, I don't. <laughs> oh man! All right, <clears throat> so let's roll it. Let's uh, let's peek on in. All right, so. <laughs> Oh man, I was just so many people are gonna be mad at me for this one today, but it's okay. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be all right with that. Um, we are in Sterling. Uh, we're gonna try to find Hidden North. Um, so I've got a couple things here. So yeah, there we go. So all right, two things, and, and I don't know why I didn't do this. So let me just go on and do it right now. Uh, and mods, I'm gonna throw this to you guys, um, and then y'all can. I'll put this in the the um. Yeah, that thing in the description, yeah, that nobody reads. I'll make sure to put this in there. Uh, there's a couple things you guys can get today. Uh, one of these, is tr the truck is free. Um, so if you guys want this truck, I'm going to tell you where to go get it. Some people don't like the the stuff in here, but I was like, it's it's custom. It's slammed. You know, it's got big wheels on it. It's fine. <laughs> like Somebody out there will like it. So let me show you where to get it. And the wheels that I've got on today, you can grab them. Uh, from this dude right here, Mr. Retro Development. Uh, you can see he's got a couple things for free on there as well. Smarties wheel pack, uh, white letter tires. He's got a 24 and a half inch uh, wheel pack that is free, uh, that is up to date and jammed. Uh, today we'll be featuring his uh, wheels, his payware wheels on there, uh, but also an SES Cascadia flat top. Now it is the 48, so don't get that. Don't think you can drive the 72 in the full. Um, this chassis only works on this particular truck and, uh, yeah. So anyway, so that's, oh yeah, uh, it's, it's all show, man. It's all slow. And, and, and then very light, uh, go are we going to be today? A very light go. So let's see if we can find anything, man. Uh, see if we can get anywhere. Uh, we're at cargo market here on Sterling. Let's we'll see if we can head up North. I've got great America back in. We've got the Utah expansion. So we'll see how things go tonight and see if, uh, you know, if everything, Everything goes okay. Uh, Cheyenne, let's see. Got Nebraska up in the house. Uh, broken bow. Uh, some of the Joselitos are buddies. One of his favorite loads. Cement. He likes them. Mulch jobs. He likes those. Not really. Of course, this one you won't see any of this, so it's okay. Um, all these are way far out, so. Uh, I probably do too, Seth. I mean, I like them both, but I really don't. I wouldn't say I really care. All right, let's try this one here. Let's get, get across the border here. Sterling Broken Bow, uh, Bexleaf Compost here in the uh, covered wagon. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully hopefully things will be good. Track hours working. Uh, we do have our map at the top, so you guys will at least be able to see that. It's a little small. I uh, wish I could get it just a wee bit bigger, but you'll also see it here in the dashboard as well. So um, Let's see. About the only other thing I need to do. If I remember correctly here. And we do have a Cummins in this thing. Um, got the one from uh, Robinicus. Let's see. I feel like. There we go. I feel like we're turned a little bit. Don't y'all? Maybe we're not. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> it could be bad. What's up, Sadister? How are you? What's up, Bear? Good to see you, man. Peace, McClanahan. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Jake Brown, Phantoms Game. Good to see you guys. Rip, hello. Grant Francis, hello. How do you get to play multiplayer? It's real easy, and actually, I think tomorrow night we're going to do that, and I'll show you how to do it, and uh, we may even make a video uh, tonight. Let's uh, adjust lights real quick. I'm going to do this right here because that way y'all can see that real good. All right, let's try this. All right. And I think, um, see, I think I have, yeah, yeah. So we've got our sim hub up as well, so I'll flip that up every now and again. Breaker Breaker 19, Willie Thornton. Thank you there for the $5 super chat, man. Appreciate it. All right, this feels weird. I'm not gonna lie, man. Feels weird. Back up, back up driving. Thank you there, Money Power. Appreciate it, bud. Actually getting some uh, some subscribers on there. That's kind of cool. Brian King. Thank you there, Brian. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you there, man. Good seeing you in FTG and new stuff. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Well, I uh, couldn't do that without uh, the help of you guys, so I appreciate y'all's support of the channel as always, man. 
And if y'all notice that there's uh, drop frames or anything's look slow or uh, anything on your end, I've got things turned up pretty high. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and push her all I can. If things drop a little bit, you know, just let me know and I'll pull it back a little bit. That is why we bought a new PC, so it's totally, uh, totally plausible that that can happen today. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So, well, what's up, Timbo? How are you, man? Yeah, we're waiting on the power supply, man. Uh, hopefully, it'll be here. Um, hopefully, it'll be here pretty soon, but it'll at least be a week, week and a half out, at least. So, thank you, the Bentley 75. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, the Five Dollars Super Chat. Welcome back. Well, welcome back to you guys. Good to see y'all. So, this uh, I guess you call it a covered wagon, but this one is from the uh, the Written Hour, and this is the one that has the the full that has the flatbed. And it also has the uh, this covered wagon, and it also has a full curtain cider as well. Thank you there, Josh. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, there's a lot of curtain sides. Um, so it's a. Uh, I'll have to put the. Uh, I'll put the link in it. It's from a Facebook group called um, ATS Mods and Updates. Uh, a guy named Keith Davis does a fantastic job um, putting that stuff together and updates a lot of the older trailers and puts them in uh, puts them in working order for whatever's recent. And so he's up to 140 in his stuff now. Uh, he's a really good dude. He's done a good a good service for the community. And they're all free. You don't have to pay for any of them. Broke your save game. Yeah, that's pretty typical, man. Anytime we move up, man. Anytime we move up, it typically uh, usually run into some kind of an issue. So, hey, <laughs> what's up, Fortune Jetta? Jendetta? Yeah, well, I've I've been a little bit bored, man. I'm just kind of kind of glad to get back on, get back in the uh, back in the seat again, driving some. What's up, Rebel? How are you, man? Oop, I have to cut this one short. Whoa, okay, all right. I thought I had a little more turn radius on this uh, fleet truck. I guess lowering it down didn't help. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. <laughs> the <beard's so> <laughs> oh, you go make me blush, Timbo. I actually trimmed it up yesterday, by, or this morning I had to. I got a haircut and I had to trim it up. I was gonna keep letting it go. All the YouTube videos I've been watching have been saying, hey, just keep letting it grow. I'm like, but it needs to be trimmed. So I was like, I just took a little, I took a little off the bottom. <laughs> oh man. Hey, people clan hand, thanks man. Thank you there for $12 and 34 cent. I love how it does the conversion. Thank you man, appreciate it. Well, I'm glad to see you back, sir. Thank you all missed. Yeah, well, I missed you guys, man. I really did. Uh, I've got to hang out with some guys here in, um, Got to hang out with some guys here in Discord, which is always nice, but it's never the same, man. You know, when you get used to streaming and doing the thing, you know, when you don't do it for a while, you're kind of like, what do I do tonight? Like, there's nothing to do. Uh, well, this is one, Alex. Uh, this is a free truck. You just got to go to that uh, link I sent up there earlier, and maybe the, uh, the moderators might have kept one for you. If you like this one, it's a lowered Cascadia. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I ain't got enough space in this lot to do this one. But there's a lot on the Steam Workshop, man. That's that's pretty much the only place you're gonna find them. Uh, let's tell you what, let's do this. Let's, let's see if we, eh, I don't know if I can do this. I might be able to. Wouldn't attempt this in real life, but we'll try it here. Man, look at all the subs, man. It looks like, uh, 
Yeah, thank you guys, man. It looks like maybe they are uh, released their API, man, to uh, show subscribers now. I might have to put a little sound in there so I can give you guys proper shout-outs. So thank you there, Alex. Appreciate it, man. Andre Seva as well. Banana. Connor Gurney, thank you guys. But now I give you all a give y'all a nice uh, shout out now. This little this little truck here turns quick. Seth, what is up, man? Uh, so where do you get the truck? Trent, uh, C-Pain just dropped it up right there before you, man. Uh, so that gum road, all you got to do is hit uh, the little cart thing. It says zero plus. Just put a zero in there that you're not going to, you know, pay for it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all you got to do. Oh, gosh, Andrew. Clint, what's up, man? Yeah, we kept cool, man. It's still, it's still hot, man. It'll be like 95 tomorrow. Like where'd where'd fall go? I need fall to go back. <laughs> uh, Andrew, this is the KA. This is the one out of Robin Igus's 1.3 combined engine sounds back from 139. It's one out of his. It's the uh, the Cummins K. I think six. I think 625 or 620 something like that. Might be the 605. This is kind of I don't know why this is this is always one of my. This is like a really good cruising engine. Once you get up into the ladder gears, man, it sounds good. We do, uh, Seth. I just I just put you know a come and swap out today. Thought it was uh, I thought it'd be catchy, man. People looking for a Freightliner, expecting a fleet truck. They're like, hey, it's uh, lowered and slammed and customized, and look at there, it's got a Cummins in it. But evidently, everybody read the title, so it's okay. It's all right, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, you work outside now. What are you doing now, Clint? <laughs> what, what outside work? Do you, do you get into for that 95 degree weather? <laughs> What's up, Zach? Yeah, well, the old PC is being brought back to life. It's doing okay so far. I'm, I'm putting some pressure on her, man. Put some pressure on it. <laughs> We're gonna see a little Great America because we tried for three streams to get Great America to pop up. So hopefully we're gonna um, we're gonna be able to roll in that tonight. So a little short 214 mile trip here into Broken Bow, Nebraska. We are in Sterling, Colorado. You can see uh, our uh, our trucky uh, is letting you guys know where we're at. Let's see if I can go ahead and edge out here. They should stop. I think I've got this. It looks like I've got this on 400. I'm going to bring this down. Yeah, I do. Let me bring this down to 300. I should just make it easy on everything. All right, clear down some wood there with the skid steer. I, I can do that now. It can be 100 degrees. I can do that now. <laughs> What's up, Nick? How are you, man? Junior... What's up, man? Well, thank you, man. Yes, bad PSU. Yes. Well, that's what we're settling on. Everything else benched and tested perfect. So um, that's what everybody's keeps leading into. So Jabber Charles, thank you there for the 10, man. Appreciate it, bud. Keep that super cool with the hot weather, I know. Yeah, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah, we got the AC fixed and uh, everything's everything's good there. So Jalen, what's up, man? It's good to see you guys. Go ahead and blow through that stoplight. So we should be, uh, uh, you know, hopefully like a week, week and a half ish. Depends on how long it takes them to send the P, uh, the PSU to me. Um, so I think theirs was, uh, I think when it came down, I think mine's on a two day. So we'll see what they send it back to me in. Getting out of 
Sterling. There's another one down there too, Lamar and Burlington. I can't stand those Colorado sounds. It's like a straightaway for like three miles and then it's a direct right turn. Hey, thanks there for the new subs, man. Appreciate you guys. I just put a little ding or something on there. Uh, I had no idea now. I guess uh, YouTube's allowing people to see subs again. So, thank you there, Justin, Frederick, Bartholomew, and Mickey Dalton for gaming, man. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for the subs. Hey, Gold Denver. Uh, pretty good, man. We're just waiting on the PSU. Um, Turns out the thing was like hot enough to fry an egg on. So <laughs> we uh, we tested everything else to make sure I didn't have any issues elsewhere, but that's where it was. So so we'll be uh, we get that thing replaced uh, hopefully here uh, whenever they send it to me. So I got to send mine back, and upon mine the revival uh, arrival, then uh, they'll ship that one out. So I should have it in a week, week and a half ish. So we'll see. Pop it in, and uh, I'm actually going to get some new braided cable. Well, not braided cables, but some new uh, white PSU cables from Corsair. So I have, because uh, right now I have the extensions on there. I don't mind the extensions, but it leaves a lot just cramped up in the power supply. So I'm going to lessen my cables and my wiring and go with one connection instead of having multiple connections between uh, vital computer components. So I don't know that necessarily that's going to help or save me on it later on, but it's certainly going to clean up the amount of cable mess that's stuffed inside that. Uh, inside of that box cover. So, all right, Nebraska we go. Let's go ahead, 75, kick it. And if you guys are keeping up, I don't know, uh, gas, the, the day, gauges are working. Uh, so we got water temp here. We got old temp, old pressure, and fuel. Obviously, RPM and speedometer, but the uh, RPMs are obviously not going to read anything that's, because uh, it's a 10,000, uh, it's a 10,000, uh, rev RPM, so you know this thing's only pushing 2,000 at the best day. So <laughs> we'll see that RPM uh, trigger those shift lights or anything. <laughs> yeah, we did the J break. Josh, thanks for the sub, man. Hey, still, what's up, man? How are you? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's just 18, 325 rear end. <laughs> All right, 75 rolling in. You don't like those wheels? That's okay. They probably don't like you either. <laughs> Who's this dead guy in chat? Yeah, I don't like him. His name, he has a purple icon. You don't like him. I don't like the color purple. Uh, it's all good, Seth. I knew, no, I knew none of you hard casers. I knew none of y'all like this. I was like, you know what? This could be my first one back. They'll probably expect me to hop in Gramps Peter driving uh, John Rudis 389 around so something mainly I was like man I'm gonna throw them off we're gonna drive a fleet truck and we're gonna do like the mid roof and we're gonna lower it and we're gonna throw some bands on it and we're gonna cover a covered wagon like I got the five most hated things that anybody else wants to see me do it <laughs> like you know what we'll just throw it at them man <laughs> see how many stay around <laughs> oh yeah, but border chip get fried. Nothing, neither. Uh, PSU. PSU seems to be faulty. Uh, it was, uh, it was, it was a hot tamale, man. It was, it was hot enough to fry an egg on. All right, in Nebraska we go. Great America. If you guys want to check out uh, Great America, 
Uh, you can type in exclamation great AM or exclamation commands. You guys can click on that link and it'll basically give you all of the commands that are active. We've got some of our favorite designers and uh, sound designers and truck modders, trailer modders. We got some of the best, uh, some of the best guys in there. So y'all can feel free to throw any of their names out if you want to get a direct link to their pages and where they sell their mods. Ratro Development is uh, in here. Put that together. Yeah, tamales are good. Yeah, fair enough, man. Fair enough. There you go, Pete. So there's Great American's Patreon, but he also has a Las Vegas add-on, and he also has Utah Expansion, which we did showcase in the last one that kind of, you know, crapped out on us before the computer blew up. But, you know, hopefully we don't have that issue today, hopefully, so. I love, I love this. Uh I like this, man. I, Great America has always been one of my faves for, especially the, you know, traversing out past your standard uh, map zone. Um, He's done a lot of work. He's looking, I think, at Kansas, and he's got a couple of other states. I don't know if he's got north and south finished up yet. Um, but they're, uh, we do have the Montana rebuild, which is uh, which is good. So we have to fill in north and south, get that finished up, Kansas. Um, so hey, it's good states right here, right in the Midwest. So I like it better in coast to coast. I like coast to coast southeast, but there's nothing really in the middle of the map, and this kind of completes all of that. So it's kind of nice to have. Pretty nice. Uh, Frogman, I, we have done it. Um, I have not done it. Uh, well, actually, I did do it on this PC, but I was trying to, you know, bounce back and do mods versus do this. And so I think either tomorrow night we'll feature that multiplayer convoy. Um, and just by the way, while we got guys here, uh, keep in mind, we will probably go ahead and take off uh, this weekend and prepare for some convoys this weekend. Um, use your TMP sound mods, all that good stuff. We'll try it. Um, I've been doing some TMP myself and things are working fine for me. Um, so I've kind of adjusted how I'm doing things on the PC line to kind of free up some space. So I think we'll be good to do some convoys. If you guys want to plan on that this weekend, uh, yeah, plan on it. We'll do some of that. Oh, Dan, we should be getting over. Crap. Let me just sneak on over here. There you go. All right. All right, thank you there, Matt's Garage. Appreciate it, man. I don't use any graphics mods, Seth. Uh, they're turned up pretty high on this one. Um, streaming and doing everything else on it, it's a little bit of a puts a little bit of pressure on the CPU. But, um, but yeah, it's it's just the game, man. Just one four zero. I pretty much got out of doing. Uh, we don't have JBX yet. It is not done, um, and I don't run any of the realistic graphics mods. I just never never really thought they were. Um, for what you got out of them, I never thought they were the best, you know, the best thing for it. So. Uh, won't be tomorrow, because tomorrow's Tuesday, and I never stream on Tuesday. Well, not stream, but I never do convoys on then. So we will probably uh, do the, keep those on Fridays and Saturdays like we normally do. So. Hey! <laughs> awesome. I would say, well, congratulations, or I'm sorry. I don't know which one to say there. Truck Dog, what's up, man? Uh, do I use a real? I do on the new on the new PC. I've cleared a lot of the stuff off this one just because I was having a lot of game crashes and mod issues. <laughs> so I uh, I cleaned a lot of that stuff off. Am I ready for FS22? <laughs> uh, Uh, yes, Andrew. Or you just have to know the people that you're joining. Find their game. Nope, little hump and dump right here in the road. <laughs> hey, all right. Watch out. Yeah. The 
But CAN 315, this is the Great America map. Uh, this is the one that we've done quite a bit on. It's the Midwest. It's got North, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa. Pretty soon it's going to have Kansas, and I think uh, as of right now he's got uh, Utah expansion and Las Vegas expansion, all part of his little Patreon package per month. Um, it's, uh, I mean, you can support a month and get whatever's updated now. You know, some people say, well, I don't like supporting more than one month. I mean, you can support the month and get the mods, and uh, and then you can pay again whenever, you know, if you don't want to pay for continued development per month uh, as he updates things. So I, it's my understanding, though, is to uh, get pretty good beta updates as well whenever he finishes a new area. They kind of go ahead and sift through um, with the uh, Patreon. So it's, it's pretty it's pretty cool the way he does it. He does, from what my understanding is, he does a really good job with it. So. Nice paranormal. I am not on Truckers MP, no, no. But I could be. Could be, because, you know, we got sounds on that. So if you guys have not checked out my latest video, I need, a, I need to put a timer up for that. Single player sounds. This sound can be an MP if you want it to be. And I've got a video showing you exactly what to do and how to do it. It's like a 15 minute video from start to finish that tells you everything you need to do, what you're going to watch out for, where you can troubleshoot, what you can do to help fix your stuff, um, and then how to get things sounded, hopefully as good as you possibly can be. Um, but yes, all sound mods work, and I show you exactly how to do it. So go check that out. It's on the page. It's the last uh, uploaded video here. Go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's good. What's up, Alex? Hey, I'm thinking there, Alex. Man, Alex dropped me a, uh, a nice little gift there in the PayPal account uh, yesterday, Alex. So thank you there, A-Rod. Appreciate you, buddy. I do not have a CDL, Seth. I do not. I should get on there. I know. Actually, I was on there. Um, I've been on there for the past couple of days as things have been, whoa, as been, things have been getting back uh, and getting them fixed. So we should be back on there this weekend as well. So just FYI. We got multiplayer convoys up to about, what, eight people, I think, is what they're rolling right now, so. So this blue box on the right here uh, that you're seeing here that has all the information for the job, uh, that is all from the Truckee bot, I mean Truckee Overlay. Truckee Overlay is free. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. If you're in my Discord, go up to the Truckee Overlay section uh, in the FAQs and you will find a whole list uh, of different things that you can use with this, um, from generating jobs to just having this, which is pretty cool. Now, it's not gonna work the same, but you can check out a uh, server list on this. You can see the servers right there. Um, now I don't think the W, yeah, so you got a top cities, you've got traffic reports. Uh, basically, it is a Waze app for TMP, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, but that's what I'm doing there on the blue box, and it's, uh, it's really nice to have. Let's go ahead and keep on rolling. Oop, missed that one. <laughs> Joe Valencia, what's up, man? Matt Service, what's up? Uh, I, I mean, I have UC Troy. It doesn't matter to me, man. If it sounds good, I don't care what engine it is. It's like the truck, man. If the truck looks good, I don't care. It's all cool, man.
Hey, thank you there, Joel, oh, man. Look at that, man. I love how I started to throw the subs, man. Thank you there, Josh, man. So, so we got those guys, Joel and Saul. Or Saul Morales, thank you, man. Saul. That's how you say it. If that's uh, Spanish, we would say Saul. And I think uh, in a Spanish dialect, it's Saul. But anyway, thanks for subbing, man. Why well, still make you nervous blind but blind backing that one up there with the propane tank, the fuel tank right beside you? What did you get wrong? Absolutely nothing. Not going to lie. Well, Colby, uh, I play with everybody on Fridays and Saturdays, man. Uh, so if you want to drive with us, uh, I drive on TMP and and I want to try now that I've got sounds. I don't mind driving on TMP actually at all now. Uh, I'll straight up drive to Kenworth and put some sounds on it and be just as content. So uh, be looking for some, you know, some uh, be looking for some uh, some convoys on the weeks and stuff. You know, either we'll stream or we'll just play whichever one. Uh, doesn't really matter to me, but uh, we'll do definitely do some more of that. Fridays is usually ETS two, and then Saturdays is typically when we do uh, ATS. Um, so we'll probably still do ATS this week, ETS uh, alike. So if you guys want to join in that, then come on. Um, let's do. Let's see. So what Cummins? So this is the KA. I believe it's the six hundred. Kaboom! Toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> Timbo Toothpick. You just need to you just need to change your name to Toothpick. That's it. But Timbo Slice is no, no longer works, man. It's got to be Toothpick. <laughs> and Timbo, he's uh, they're playing Daisy, so that's that's where that that's where that joke comes from. <laughs> Why not play ATS and Triple Christopher? Because two reasons. Uh, two re uh, first reason is because um. Uh, Jabber Jaws, I will get that one uh, here in just a minute. Uh, so, Chris, ATS to triple, mainly because my PC cannot handle it anymore and do it at a decent resolution. Um, that looks uh, that looks good on stream anyway, um, which is why we built a new one. We're still we're back on the old PC right now because the new ones I'm getting a, a power supply uh, fixed or I'm actually getting a brand new one, not even getting it fixed. But anyway, it'll be here sometime week, week and a half. I had been doing triples on that. The other thing is that I got more complaints running triples because people wanted to see inside of the cab and didn't want to necessarily see out the window. Uh, so even though I've got all these cool dashes, all this stuff is for me to drive, you know, three wide. Uh, but people watching a stream don't necessarily like that. And it's hard to mix and match what you see here uh, on the middle screen versus what you see all three. So that's why it's like that. Um, so this is the way the old one was set up, and I wasn't really trying to change it. <laughs> it's too much. So, but that's why I have it. I, my new PC, I do a lot more triples than I do on this one because it just can't. It, it can't do it anymore. It used to uh, before they started making all these updates and stuff. So, um, but anyway, that's that. And I will get to that uh, track racer um, question as well. In just a second here. Let me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Let's, uh, I'm going to re not retire this one, but I'm just going to take it into a flatbed state. So let's, um, so let's configure this, throw the flats on it. I think, I don't think it's going to crash my game. Ah, oh, yes. You never know what the wheels, the wheels sometimes can get it. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, there we go. All right. We were pulling a covered wagon. <laughs> we did not know more. <laughs> but you couldn't. But you couldn't do enough. To, oh, we couldn't do enough to it. Yeah, it's it's uh it's like an edit. You know, I I actually think it'd be cool to have the full, uh, you know, to have the full one on, like the full seventy two inch sleeper. I think it'd be cool to have that one and then have it lowered. You know, because then then you could pull reefers and stuff with it, and it would look, you know, it would look better. Uh, but yeah, no, I totally totally get it, man. Let's see what we got. Set time. You can see all my mod issues, man. I was I was having a time earlier. I had maps in here. I was like, what is this? When did I download that? What is that? 
It's like, when did, when did I get this? Like, I don't remember ever having this. But I went through and deleted, like, every 139 I had out of the folder. I was like, this is too much. I cannot believe I had this many mods for 139. Sure enough, I did. All right, let's see if I can pick anything up from here. We'll just continue on through Great America. I actually, you know, you know what? Here, I'll do this. Um, because you know we never got to do this on the last one. So here, here's here's the deal. We can get back on eighty, uh, and take, or we can go back. Oh, did I not put it in? Never mind. We ain't doing that. <laughs> My bad. I said I didn't put uh, Utah expansion in there. Wait a minute. Yeah, I did put the. That was Colorado. <laughs> it's been a long day. <clears throat> Would y'all want to see Utah expansion, or do y'all want to just keep where it's at? Throw it in there in chat. Y'all get y'all get to choose. I don't care. I'll drive wherever. Y'all just tell me where you want to go. <laughs> Time to upgrade. I hear you low balling. Man, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the. Look at the. Look at the, look at the subs coming in. Man, it's so cool that Stream Elements is pulling all that stuff now. Man. Sweet. Tita Cruz, thank you there. Appreciate it. Aiden as well. Seth Miller, thanks for the sub. Akila Francis, hello. Some Mario Thompson and Junior Mendez. Thank you guys, man. Sweet. I'm so glad it's doing that. Big Dolls away for the hydrate. Yeah, you you won't uh yeah, you won't you won't regret that purchase, man. I still one of my favorite ones. Utah, 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 Utah. Okay, all right, Utah it is. Let's go to um we're pretty much probably gonna have to start in the middle of it so that we can get jobs in it. Let's uh, let's see what's in. Uh, let's see if we can pull something out of Bryce. Your uh, Let's see. Let me pull all this crap out here. B R Y. Go to. Oh, I didn't like that one. Oh, it's Bryce, not Brian. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got there. Sub level one. It hey, drive to Italy. We did that Friday. I thought we might drive my two favorites, man, Italy and uh, Iberia. So if you got Iberia DLC, show up Friday. We're going to do some ETS. Drive along there. <laughs> What's up, J Cap? We got the flatbed on today. Let's see what we got. Alright, Diamond Crystal Ice Melt. Nice. Alright, so that one's going up to Selena. Uh, all right, so we'll go to Selena, and I'll take the long way. Uh, it is. Uh, is that Frosty? Frosty, what's up? Yeah, man, it is. Uh, so it was a. Uh, so basically, uh, let me go back to this screen. Let's see which one is it. Yeah, so I got fuel and oil pressure, and um, I got an MP, obviously, RPM, water temp, and oil, uh, oil temp. So I basically built that for a combo between iRacing and also, um, you know, trucking. And basically for the speedometer and the fuel stuff. You know, like that stuff's cool. You don't really necessarily need it. Uh, but it is cool on the racing side. So I did a lot of oval racing, and um, I think, is it hooked up? Yeah, so even back here, hang on. I've got it stuck back there for right now, but but even the uh, even the shift light works on it, so which is kind of cool. A lot of people don't see that because I have it stuck back here for trucking. You know, we're not we're not we're not hitting the shift the rev limiter there on the truck and stuff. You know. But I, I did a uh, I did a I did a stream where we essentially wired the whole thing up, you know, on stream, which I was extremely nervous about. So I was like, man, if this thing don't work, and turn on, man, it's gonna be an absolute bust. <laughs> oh god. 
Uh, regular sim. Oh, uh, Jeff, we probably do. I mean, we'll probably do regular just because that's a lot for people that don't have all the DLC. And that's a quite a big purchase if it's not on sale. So we'll probably just keep it regular sim uh, for this intro back into it. And then we'll kind of move into Pro Mods as we do. Doesn't matter to me. Pro Mods is pretty good if you're driving in the interior, you know. But um, essentially now the DLCs are just good. It's like Pro Mods just kind of like accepts them, you know. <laughs> so. All right. So someone asked about the track racer rigs. Uh, 160 versus the 8020, I believe, is what you were getting at, uh, Jabberjaws. Um, and and I'm I'm. I don't know anything about the 8020s, although I would assume that they're no different. Uh, the rigidity of this is pretty crazy, but I will say, um, you know, um, depends on the application. Um, I know some of the 8020, you can upgrade some things, um, like, you know, what basically your pedal trays and other things. So I wouldn't necessarily know, um, obviously, a comparison, uh, you know, A to B. Um, as to what it's like, but um, just telling you from this 160, man, it's uh, it's pretty incredible. And I think mainly just because you've got two or three contact points between everything, and sometimes you have eight. So you really can rip it stuff, and uh, you'll pull the whole rig over before you actually move anything, which for some people, if you move into the iRacing or move into some type of racing and you really, 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 really get in-depth with it, I can see that being something that might be useful. So... Yeah, convoy's coming by, man. We we should we should be able to roll out. Um, we should be able to roll this weekend. I'll see why we can't. So maybe we'll roll out uh, a Friday. We'll do a little ETS. Uh, we'll roll out and do a little bit of ATS on Saturday potentially. So, Travis, up, man. I'm good. And thanks to all our new uh, subs there, Adam Armstrong as well, JNR, uh, Eric Gunners. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Zach, I actually did that on the live stream. I know. I wired this whole thing up. <laughs> I think it's in my setup part on, uh, I think it's on my setup part in Oh yeah, Jeff. Well, you have any problems, man? Just hit, you know, hit me up in the. If you see me in the Discord, hit me up. Shoot me a message. Let me know if I got time. I'll, I'll help you sort it out. Um, I guess for for people that have never done it, you know, sometimes it's a it's a little bit of a scary thing to go inside those files that you don't normally screw with. You know, thinking well, I'm gonna screw something up, but sometimes people need a little bit of reassurance that yeah, you know, you're you're not gonna screw it up. <laughs> it's all okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Jabber Jaws, it's, you know, it's like it's like anything else. I will say the the one, the, this TR-160, like, it actually um, sits quite high off the ground, um, which I'm kind of surprised um, because there's no way for me to really lower it down. I've got the feet on it rolled all the way down. But, like, I'm sitting as high as I was in my other rig, which feels weird. And I still really need to raise my pedal tray up a notch. So instead of the 8020, you get those two grooves. This one, you only get you get four grooves on each side. So you can move the pedal tray up four four different positions. And I need to raise it up. One. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. C Paint just dropped that link right there, guys. Uh, if you have not uh, seen it, go check that out. That is my video on how to add uh, sound mods uh, to TMP, so that you could basically have this sound mod if you want it. You could have that for TMP. And Jack Barrett, maybe C Paint will be be nice enough to throw that retro development link there for you. They are free. Man, look at that. C Paint's got them. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, C Paint. Good to see you, man. And these are free. The, uh, the the wheels are not free, but the truck is. So it's just a nice SCS edit. I mean, it's uh, he does have that the nice wheel uh, that the wheel guard back there, mud guard. And these wheels are, you know, they're his if you like them. But he's got a couple other free things on there too. So you might see something on there that you like just as much. What's up, Naster? How are you, man? 
Thank you there, B-Man TV. Appreciate you guys. Thank you all for the subs, man. I'm so glad that's working now. Give people proper shout outs. Might have to put a little ding or something by the, <laughs> by the subs again. We're taking all that out. I was like, well, I'll just put it up here and I won't put a, I won't put a sound by it. Probably won't update. chat uh, have actually got a chance to get on the new experimental uh, the experimental convoy for uh, SCS software any any uh, any potentials out there thoughts on it from guys you know that aren't our typicals you know what I mean what's up VT virtual trucker how are you man uh, Donovan no yeah it's not on not on console Andrew's loading it up now. I was curious. I, I got on it uh, with Bear, and I think uh, Wolf was on there. Hey, it's not even one other person was on there. Anyway, we did it. Uh, extremely smooth. Um, at least everything right now is default, unless you're one of the modders that wants to mod in their trucks. They, they figured out how to do it, of course, but they showcase it on everybody's Facebook page, and then nobody will tell you how to do it. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Screw y'all, too. I'll just keep that next, you know. TMP sound mod thing that I, you know, let somebody let me know about. I was like, yeah, I would just keep that to myself. Stream it for a few weeks, let everybody salivate, then I'll, I might let you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, he was with us. That's right. Well, we did a curtain cider. Well, we did a half curtain cider. It was over the top curtain. It looks kind of dumb with this truck, not going to lie. <laughs> not going to lie. Um, all right, so Trent, go to the 48, uh, go to the 48 inch uh, cha uh, cab, and then go to the medium 6x4 chassis. There's two regular ones and then there's two lowered ones it lowers it about three four inches it's not a it's not a slam but you can tell it lowers it it's on the medium chassis no no i said i didn't it just psu melted down it didn't melt down it just uh it's got something in it's got something in there it's like a short um uh, so whenever whenever you uh, essentially what was happening was whenever i put an extreme load on it it would do fine until it was asked to change off of that and then load something else new. So like if you were pushing, you know, good 80% of the card, CPUs, you know, it's 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 being pushed, or at least you're, you know, starting to use some, some resources, memory's getting resources used, and then all of a sudden you like went to the menus and all of that power draw was dropped and all of a sudden it had to re recoup on that, that's when things would crash. Um, so whenever I would try to do anything outside of just play the game as it was, it'd be fine. But as soon as I changed that operation and, and asked it to do something different with the power divvy, it said, nah, I'm, no, no, not today, bud. And then I didn't really even stick my hand down there that I felt it. When uh, the guys from Digital Store, man, dude, dude was, he, man, he was on the phone for like 10, it was like 10 hours and two days he spent with me trying to make sure that that's exactly the problem I had. I didn't have anything else going on. No, no GPU, CPU, RAM issues, motherboard issues. Everything benched and uh, you know tested out perfect. And so that's uh, that's where we that's where he came to. I went out, put my hand on it, and if I'd have kept my hand there, you know, an extra five, 10, 15 seconds, you know, it it uh, it'll probably blistered my fingers. Um, but I know in idle state it was running about a hundred. 18 to 125 degrees in its idle state. That's what the outside temperature was on the casing for the power supply. So I would, uh, 
I would say that that's probably that was probably our issue. <laughs> so, whoa! Sorry, Copper. We about took him out. We're good though. We're good. Clear Creek. So we could do this. Uh, yes, Scott. Yeah, we'll all have to have the same mods to see each other properly whenever we do it. Um, yeah, whenever we, uh, is this it? Yes. Yeah, so we'll, we'll need that whenever, whenever things happen in. It's fine. I mean, it'll be one of those like, hey, you need these two mods. You need a sound mod, then whatever. I love it, man. Edible. At least my back. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate the dono there, Mr. Edible. Thank you there for the tip. Yeah. That was It's all I'm giving you tonight, FTG. Okay. <laughs> no, it was not too small. It was a uh, 1200 watt, Alex. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, you know, I didn't whip out on anything. So we had the 3080 founders. We had the uh, the i9 10.9x, and um, and it was overclocked. Of course, we took a lot of that overclocking and stuff off just to bench and test. And uh, we got all the Dominator RAM uh, from Corsair, and then uh, 1200 watt power supply. So, yeah, it could have powered at least a small, like at least a couple of rooms in the house. It'd been fine. <laughs> It'd have been fine. <laughs> Jake, what's up, man? Oh, you did much. Please, man. Please. What's up, Jake? How are you, man? Hope you're doing good, man. Uh, yeah, bigger supply. They don't. I don't know that they make anything any bigger. Their master. It's it's not it's not a it's not a it's not the size of it. It's the it was faulty. Um, it was not doing what power supplies were supposed to do. They were not supposed to overheat that much. So essentially it has its own internal temperatures that I'm sure it cannot exceed and just to keep it from catching on fire. Um, and so uh, it would hit those limits and it basically would, that was weird because it would shut down the whole entire computer and then it'd pull it back up at its own time whenever things got, uh, whenever things, so it was no throttling or anything. It was just boom, it's off. Like someone just reached down and just plugged it out of the wall. And then it would wait there five minutes for the power supply to cool down and then it would pop up. And I could do I could do small end stuff on it, you know. Um, but I couldn't could game on it. Alright, so you saw a little bit of the expansion there, so we'll try to drive back into it. See if we can get something else small up out of here out of uh, Selena. Oh, shoot, we went the wrong way. Dang it. Man. What if I can cut you right here? Hehehehe. <laughs> 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 yeah, but don't spam it, Seth, because that'll just get you banned, man. Nobody likes a spammer. EMP drives, this is the KA, it's the Cummins. It's KA, I think it's the 605. It's a bunch of different horsepowers uh, on this. But this is the one from Robin Igus's 1.39, um, 1.39 engines, combined engines back. This is in there. It's towards the top of the list. I like it, man. It's a good, it's a good cruiser engine, man. It doesn't have a turbo on it, though. It's my only, my only gripe. It doesn't have that turbo whistle. It's kind of built into the sound, which I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. Yeah, it's got 500. I think I'm right at the 600. I think there's like a 725. Like there's a heavy haul version. And then there's the, your city engines. Stuff like that.
Uh, it could be, Alex. They're, they're starting to have a lot more issues with power supplies, and I, I don't know if it's just a, a glossing over of uh, important things that need to be done or if it's just, you know, they're going so far, far out the door they're trying to keep up with, with the, this, the need of them, the demand. I don't know, but I, I wouldn't think that the, the you know, that. but I, I have seen that the, a lot of these guys are starting to, it, it, it almost kind of bugs me a little bit that they're already starting to do RGB power supplies. I'm like... It's a power supply like we would need like I saw where they're starting to do like rhinestone encrusted like fan shroud enclosures for your CPU fans I'm like what what this, this makes no sense like pretty soon we're gonna have RGB power strips like I can't believe that's not a thing you know now you can actually get power supply cables that are RGB Did y'all know you can do that Now that actually looks really good, but I mean, I can't imagine. It just makes no sense to me. I guess I get it, whatever. Maybe, I don't know. I still don't know that I get it. What's up, Goof? I don't know. Sylvester A. YouTube greetings. What's up, man? All the way from Salvador. What's up? Jeremy Schmidt. Thank you there, Gamer Maddie. Is that right? What's up, the channel? Thank you there, guys. So glad, man. I'm so glad. Y'all don't understand, man. We went months without being able to thank our subs, man. So it's good to uh, it's good to be able to give you guys a, a shout. Uh, let's do one more. It's uh, been about an hour. Let's do one more, uh, and then I'm going to kind of work towards uh, getting some MP stuff ready uh two things for this weekend and then one we might do another video uh with the mp and show guys how to get in it if nobody hasn't done that already whatever figure up something all right let's uh da, 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 da. i don't um actually <sighs> yeah let's see where we at selena so let's see if we can drive in this general vicinity here so we're in utah expansion we're in the one where we tried to get in there a couple of videos earlier and we just could never make it so <laughs> yeah anyway so we're uh most of uh, the roads that we're on except this one right here is the original so um let's see what we can find if we've got uh moab just gonna see if we could find. Uh, there's bullfrog. Let's see if we can find any of these that take us right down through, or at least that I can that I can go through there. Let me see what. Let me see what. Uh, it's a little bit weird because they don't really give you many. Okay, that fifty. Okay, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, so you almost got to start down here in Farmington and then come up in through it like this. That that kind of gives you the best best case. <clears throat> it's really cool up in here. I like I like going through it, but you can't really access it from the top on Moab. So that might be kind of cool to create a little a little spin off in there. Let's see what uh, Farmington's got, if it, anything. Of course, I don't have that one now. Let's see Holbrook, yeah, da, 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 Salt Lake. Can we? Well, no. <laughs> I want to go a little further, but not quite that far. It's at 378. Yeah, of course. Of course. Why 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 would this be easy? Alright. There's Hanksville, which kind of gets us in the vicinity. That's short though. Uh, Durango. This is always the way it is. Every single time we try to do this. Hey, let me show you guys a map. Let's pull the load through it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Durango and Hanksville. There we go. Perfect. Even better. Pine Bark. <laughs> Going to your local Walmart. Where's that at? That's Durango. All right. Let's go to Durango. All right. We'll 
set her down right here. All right. Breaker one nine, Greg. What's up, man? Ah, oh, it's all right, dude. Get out of the military in November. I should have much more time. Nice, man. What's up? Well, thank you there. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you there very much, man. It's good to see. Uh, it's good to see Greg with us, man. He's uh, he's been around since I was like a ten subs. He's been around for a long time, uh, and I think as soon as the membership stuff he w came out, he was one of the first ones to jump in and drive the membership out, and he hasn't stopped yet. So. Hey there, Greg. Appreciate you as always, man. It's uh, it's good to see you, man. Hey, it wasn't Farmington. I have to turn around. <laughs> Thanks, Wolf. So those loads, Jake. I will throw the trailer up there uh, once uh, once the video uh, goes live on YouTube. Uh, it's just a link. It's um, get three trailers. Is that the written hour from ATS Mods update? You might actually even have it, but because I've I, this is like one of my favorite flats besides like Bart's and stuff. It's got a lot of those, like, I don't know, kind of uber classic, uh, those uber classic loads and stuff, you know? It's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of its thing. It's got a good flat bed. It's got a good covered wagon, which is the half, and then it's got a full curtain cider, which looks really good with all the, looks really good with all the custom, custom trucks and stuff we got out there now. Chris Kane, thank you there, man. All right, Farmington, and then we're back up into Utah, so that'll be the last one for tonight. Yeah, I can uh, I can upload it to I can upload it. Um, I don't think I've got that one. I need to set that one up as a main command because that's a really it's a really good one. It's ATS mod updates on Facebook, but I can uh, I can I can put that up after we get done. I'll put it in the description of the video. Peterbilt truck mods. So there's there's really three, um, and it depends on how much of a fan you are. You got the Roland, which is an expensive one, so it, it will break the bank if you're not prepared for it. Um, there's there's really three, well, three others. There's the Blue Line 379, which I think is 40. I think there's uh, which we're gonna be featuring Dom's 379 again because he's got a lot of stuff he's been working on that truck. So we might try to get you guys an early access, early preview of what he's doing to that truck. Um, I'll reach out and talk to him and see what he's got going on, see if he wants to work something like that in. Um, and then we've also got, uh, obviously, Free Vipers. And you've got um, the, the 389 from, uh, and I think his is 40, by the way. And then Ruda's is 30. So you're going to, and I think uh, Pingas went up to 32, so um, $30 also. So I think between 30 and 40, and I don't think, honestly, with any of those trucks, you can go wrong. It just depends on what you want in it. Um, Pingas is a lot more kind of like, say, custom, where you can do all the slam stuff and the extremely stretched out chassis. Um, I think Dom's is going to feature a lot more stuff uh, when it comes to the uh, chassis frames and that kind of stuff. He's doing a lot of adding in for those. So I think it probably comes down more or less to what you, what you want to drive. What's up, Trip? How are man? Dixie 13. Hello, Dixie. Uh, JD Care. Is that right? JD Care? JD Care. I think that's why. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this weekend. So I'm on the old PC. Um, so we, so we can still do it. Uh, Truckers MPs, I got everything back up running. 
Um, it didn't take me too long to do that. But um, So we'll do that Friday. We'll do some ETS. Um, and then uh, we can do some Saturday. We'll do some ATS. So good trip. Good man. Well, uh, Jake, I don't really know now. Uh, there's been some things kind of came out with that truck that I wasn't really too happy with. Um, and some things really that I thought needed to be fixed. Um, so in its current state, uh, I am I am not, you know, I, I just feel like I can't completely put all my weight behind that truck anymore. Um, I did like it. I think I still like it as a truck. I just wasn't really happy with how some of the business stuff went down on that. Um, and that was kind of after the fact. Um, so, I mean, it, there's people still have it and still like it. I, it's just... There's nothing wrong with it, I think, per se. It's just I'm, I don't want to get myself in it. In I don't want to get myself burned um, and where people don't really trust my opinion on these payware mods anymore, if that makes sense. So, Yeah, Rudy's got a cab over. Yeah, yeah, he's got, he's got stuff rolling in. What's up, Joe? Leyland Gasman, what's up, man? Good to see you guys. All right, come on there, station wagon, SUV, whatever you are, cross UV. He has not dropped it yet, Rich. I assume when he does, we'll have it here on the channel featuring it. He has not dropped it yet. Good, Leyland. Uh, man, it feels good to be back behind the wheel. I can tell that things are uh, a little bit more jumpy. <laughs> They're not quite as smooth as they are on my new computer. <laughs> but we're, we're, like the title says, we are back, sort of. <laughs> waiting on the PSU. Other than that, man, we're, uh, we're just chilling. I think exclamation in front of the eight ball. I can't believe nobody's put an eight ball in there. there. <laughs> yeah, it's good, man. I, I like. I've always liked Great America. I never did. I never could get into the. Um, you know, I never could get into the uh, what you call it. Coast to coast. I tried, and I like the southeast, but man, I just I don't know. I just couldn't do it. I wish more more guys were collaborative on that, but. You know, I guess everyone's, uh, you know, unfortunately, like, and I get it, you know, it takes a lot of work to do this stuff, and nobody in the community is ever really very nice about it. So, now I understand when guys want to take their stuff to payware, Patreons, to whatever, like, I get it. People are disgustingly um, oppressive when it comes to their comments, when their favorite content creators and stuff do stuff that they don't think they ought to be doing. It's quite sickening, actually, and so... Um, I get why people want to take their stuff free and don't want to do it for the community anymore. Doesn't happen that way with everything, but man, there's just some stuff, man. It just it just touches the the community the wrong way. Um, and unfortunately, maps, trucks, <laughs> all that stuff that takes a lot of time, yeah, gets people gets people fired up. So, yeah, they're not going to do that if they can sell their own map and not give it away for free on coast to coast and then being inundated with requests for stuff. I get it. But it would be nice to have a really nice big collaboration, a free collaboration effort to fill that map in, you know, make it look good. But. All right. Pat, what's up, Key? I think I saw Key Hook, guys. I think I saw you on TMB the other night, actually. Didn't say, hey, man, my feelings were hurt. <laughs> oh, we came in. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, shoot. We came in the wrong way. All right, here, let's, let's screw you down here. Yeah, I know, man. I, I, that was my thing, Jeff. I, I hated that. I hated that middle, that middle section, man. It was just, even with Midwest, like, it was just, it still, still needed so much, you know. I don't know if I can do this. Big 
cargo. I think we actually got to get close to it. <laughs> That's all right, Keith. It's all right. I, I actually see quite a few guys on there. I have a healthy dose of people that want to cuss me out on TMP. I don't really know why. Uh, healthy dose of people that cuss me out. People that are super nice that want to wish me safe travels on my day. So for all you guys out there to do that, thank y'all. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. <laughs> I do too, man. I like this is one of my favorite ones, man, because it's got the curve. I don't ever even see like unless it's a step deck. Now step decks I do see flat, but if they're a one piece deck like this. Like I always, always see them with the curve. Good bit of spring in there. Make sure you support that weight, you know, especially if it's an all-aluminum trailer, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, we forgot we got to do that. <laughs> uh, how do you tone down the reflection? I can't see the lines of the... Re oh. Oh, hmm. So, um, hmm. Sometimes double, depending on where the... So, if it's if it's really overexposed and you're on the default map, the, the uh, so this goes for anybody that's curious. Um, if you... And I was going to see if I have this resource. I don't think I do. But at any rate, it doesn't matter. If at some point, like, you feel like um, I need, uh, you know, that you need, I don't know, you need to find out something and whether or not it's working or whether or not it is going to work. The easiest thing to do is actually to get onto a default and then see what it looks like without mods. Because sometimes um, mods, oh, look at all this pine bark. Look at all that pine bark. Like it. Uh, but anyway, usually I will go to my multiplayer one and then load up in single player and then just kind of see how everything flies. If it works really good, then I'm going to know I've got a mod issue because uh, along with 140, there were a lot of things that were done to, um, there were a lot of things that were done to kind of help in the, the way that it looks. And if you've got Bloom and all of these other things turned on, then it can totally overexpose if you've got a bad mod in there, trailer mod. It may work, but there's materials in there that can clash with the new lighting system and it makes everything look overexposed and blown out. So if it looks overexposed to blown out, it's typically a mod. Same with your mirrors, um, that kind of stuff. But just run it up next to a dead profile that has no mods in it, uh, and then see if you get the same result. What's up, Stelter? Uh, v Lone, I don't know if is C Bain still here. He was throwing all these things in there earlier. You might be able to scroll up if you've been here a few minutes. Um, he's been dropping some of those, uh, been dropping some of our links in there. Uh, this retro development, I can I can fling it in there in a minute. He's not. Uh, no, Jeff, it won't be on there. Must be a fan of Jeff Fabiano's. Sea pain still with us, man. Thank you, there, Sea pain So there you go. Wheels and the truck actually can go from there. And for whatever reason, I did not put that in the description. I don't know why. Because <laughs> that's where that's where pretty much everything's coming from tonight. So I am uh, trying to rebuild profiles back on the other three. So this is where we were left with tonight. So. Yeah, true. We get you some fine barn, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, hunger. Yeah, we're back. Up. We got the old PC out, man. Uh, we got to wait on the new power supply. So uh, once that new power supply comes in, probably a week, week and a half, because I got they got to wait till mine comes in, and then they'll uh, they'll send theirs out. So so yeah. So anyway, just got to wait on it. About a week, week and a half. So. Just, I just thought about something. I was sitting here thinking, wait a minute, I have not heard that all day. Hang on a minute. You have reached your destination. Yeah. A oh boy Z. Z got another freebie out for y'all. See what happens. Uh, you talking about it on the right here? So that's uh, just the Truckee, the Truckee app. Um, it's really, really, really good. Um, but it's uh, it's free. They've got overlays, and really, it's more or less tuned to work with TMP. Uh, but I think it's TruckeeApp.com or .net. It's one of the two. Um, and uh, it's really super good. We use it for all our convoys and stuff. Uh, it's got a live map for TMP, so you can have that overlaid in, and it works through Overwolf, which is, you know, just install the absolute basic minimums for Overwolf. Other than that, it's not really resource hungry, but um, but it does work really well with that. So it's got all your jobs on there. You can hide it uh, all in real time. It's got uh, live maps, it's got traffic reporting, so if people report accidents or trucks on the side of the road, it'll fling up an alert, just like a GPS would. It's, it's pretty cool, man. Works really good. No problem, Greg. No problem, man. And it'll work on the iPad. Well, it will. It's like an iPhone app for iPad. It's kind of dumb. It doesn't really work the way it should. But No problem there, Spank. Feels weird saying that. 
Uh, Travis, we are in the uh, Cummins K. Uh, I think it's like it's a it's one of them. 600 some odd horsepower. There's about four or five of them in the pack, uh, but it comes with Robin Ike's 1.39 combined engines off the uh, comes with his off the steam workshop. Yeah, it works pretty good on the phone, man. I I, I don't really like it on there, uh, especially you know if you don't if you don't either like overlays or don't like you know. But you can move the windows anywhere and customize them up uh, to do lots of different stuff, man. But it's really good. I always tell guys like my favorite thing about it, it's kind of like Waze, you know, for your you know phone or your actual GPS stuff that you use in real life. It's just like it. It's literally just like it. So. Weird, uh, I believe uh, we should be really close. Yeah, so we're fixing to turn into the um, to the uh, Utah expansion right now. So we'll go up this 191, hit over 95, and then everything from there on for all the way in, all the way into Kusharim, uh, if that's even how you say that. Uh, that is all in the Utah expansion, which is on the Great America Patreon uh, from uh, yeah from his Patreon. So. I'll, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so anyway, I will put the links back up in there. I forgot to do that. A little, little bit rusty. Uh, no force feedback on this one. No, it's, it's a Fanatec shifter. I've just got a, uh, a really nice shift through on it. Yeah, I said, but it's not forced you back. <laughs> this is definitely not my, my style of drug. It's all right. Yeah, there's a there's a couple that are starting to they're starting to mess with them, but they have not figured out Andrew M how to incorporate that into the mass market. There are some force feedback shifters out there. Um, there's even some 3D printed ones that'll blow your mind. But like I said, they're not on any kind of like large end development, so. I don't know. I think it was song lyrics. That's where I was going. What's up, Doms? <laughs> yeah, it is, man. <laughs> it is. Got his wheels and the uh, and the flat top on it, man. I'm back on the old PC, man. So I, I had I gotta re-download everything, bro. I got cleaned a lot of this stuff off, and I shouldn't have. I knew better, and I, for whatever reason, I did, man. I just left it where it was. Should have just left it. If I cleaned out all these mods and it's like did everything, I was like, oh god, because my PSU went out on my old, on my, my brand new computer, so they're uh, sending me a replacement for it, and uh, yeah, so here we here we sit. <laughs> yeah, they're all right, Freyliner. It's one of my favorites out of out of Robin Ike's pack. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's a song. I thought so. I didn't know the song, and it just sounded really weird. Trip. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't read that comment. <laughs> yeah, good free edit. I know, right? Yeah, so we got we got the wheels on there, so we still, you know, in typical FTG fashion, we still at least got one payware mod on the docket tonight. And we got a free trailer. You know, we do what we can around here. We got a free trailer and a free truck, you just gotta buy the wheels. Actually, Travis, 
if it's well, you know, I would say Dom's in here, but I'm not gonna put him on the spot. Uh, I know how it how it works, but I reached out to a couple of guys that I saw um, early that I, I thought I was cool with, but evidently I wasn't cool with him to uh, to get any lines for him. <laughs> yeah, they basically gave me the "if you get out of here, YouTuber." <laughs> I was like, "Wow, okay, all right." I was like, well, that's cool, man. Y'all want to be that way? I was like, well, y'all enjoy those TMB sounds. I saw y'all using them on y'all's uh, live stream the other night. It's like, well, that's cool, man. Y'all don't share. That's fine. Just King, what's up, man? Hey, there's Spank for the sub, man. If you're still watching, I'm so happy now that they've, uh, everything's working now on the subscribers. It's so cool. Probably nobody subbed to the channel for years. Not really years, but you know what I mean. Well, he's a modder. The modders will do it, and, and it's fine. But he's a modder, so he knows how to do it, so he'll do it, but nobody else will tell anyone else how to do it, so it's fine. Listen, it'll 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 all work itself out and SES will um, SES will get things running here pretty soon, I feel like. They probably are not going to want people uh, messing around in the files, doing DLCs and other stuff. This is somebody will wind up coming in here and figuring out how to rip their stuff off and give it to everybody. Uh, it was quite a bit, Zach. Yeah, it was quite a bit. It wasn't problems, man. It's just adjustments, man. Nobody wants to watch that mess. Nobody wants to watch me, you know, Fiddle fart, found, fiddle fart around with wrenches and you know well hang on guys let me let me get this seat an inch this way and it'll be perfect yeah nobody cares man uh, nobody cares yeah that's why they say you gotta pack it uh, unpack it pack it back up as a dlc so that is above my youtuber uh my youtuber skills and evidently, I, I kind of got the feeling what they just didn't want me putting a video out there and telling everybody how to do it. So, <laughs> whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not salty at all. Maybe just a little bit. Really? See, well, I just had it circulated around. Well, here, since we're since we're riding through this part of the map, you guys probably need to like be able to see. How many guys can con dev console as they're walking as they're driving through there? There we go. John the Love, what's up, man? Uh, Mandy, uh, yeah. So uh, we got a couple mods in here that might have that. Sea paint's been dropping it in here to, like it's hot tonight. There, bear. So there you go. So you can pick up some, uh, pick up some wheels. Uh, he's got wheels in there. I think for twelve is uh, one of the wheels. There's four different sets. These are one of them that I have on here. So if you like those kind of wheels, they work for trailers and the trucks. Uh, got a tire with him as well, and he's also got some other freebies as well. Uh, this little, uh, sc uh, I almost said Scandium. This little uh, freight liner uh, Cascadia. Uh, Midroof is free. He's also got uh, Smarties white letter tires are free on there. He's got one other one on there, like off-road tires, like crazy tires. They're on there uh, free too. So he's got like three or four free mods on the site. So go check it out. Go uh, download. Go throw him some support. 30 inches, 12 ass when I thought. And yeah, I play ETS. We, uh, Manny Rivera, what's up, man? Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be, we should be live this weekend. Um, there's the big alien guy over there. Way over there. So we're in the, we're in the expansion too, if anybody was curious. So we 
just uh, went through Bullfrog. Escalante is next. Kind of cycle around and right around the internals here. Yeah, so once we get that power supply, man, we'll get back, we'll get back on my uh, cable management and clean all that back up since I've had to unplug everything. And, uh, and then we'll rock and roll with some uh, actual set of videos, which is what y'all would want to see. International 9900, that's, uh, that's not a vague request. <laughs> I'll look and see what I can do, man. I'll see if I can find one. Why not? It's updated. Ooh, I like those signs. What's up, Wayne? I know, man. I feel like I haven't done a stream in so long, man. I feel like it's been forever and a day, man. I'll change it up this week, too. I, I may see. Uh, we might test out some other stuff, too. Random while we're, you know, waiting on the old PC here. Stream some convoys this week. Yeah, all right. Do some stuff. RJ Taylor, what game is this on? American Truck Simulator. You can find it in the Steam Store. I think $19, I think, is what it is. Mod Sports. Huge Mod Sports. What's up, Walker? Well, I don't know if I'm looking any better than I was, but I appreciate your compliment there, pal. <laughs> the man I'm in Clutchy was up. Uh, the rig, Wayne, is awesome. Uh, computer rig uh, is short of PSU, so. <laughs> Once we get that from Digital Store, uh, we'll be back on that a week and a half, and we can kind of continue as we were. But, yes, the rig is great, man. Um, got everything custom, you know, mounted up and got all kinds of cool stuff now and plenty of places to put it. So I can't wait to do an actual. Uh, I wanted to get the PC and get all that in here. We were started to work on that, record some stuff, and then all of a sudden it all broke loose with the power supply. So I decided to hold off and to figure out what the heck I was going to do. And uh, so when I ever get that, we'll finish up our videos uh, for our PC, uh, you know, rig setup stuff. So it did as the power supply, man. It happened, I guess, about two weeks ago. So um, the first time I did, what didn't have too much luck getting on with, uh, didn't have too much luck getting on with uh, Digital Storm, getting a tech support guy to give me a call back. But the second guy I talked to was awesome. So he got me fixed up and, and uh, got the whole thing benched up and did a ton of testing and a ton of troubleshooting and um, yeah, we did all of the things and that's what we got to uh, that's what we came to the agreement of it was the power supply so so hopefully in a week 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 and a half we'll be we'll be up running with that again so what's up Terrence Park good to see you man yeah we'll do some convoy this week man. I'll let everybody know so they can get their games, uh, get their games updated, and uh, you know, get their stuff hooked up. I know the boys have been whittling them toothpicks, you know, for a couple weeks now. It's time to, you know, time to, time to get back in the truck. Uh, we might be. I mean, we might stream the rest of this week, uh, Jeff. Um, Probably do some more. Uh, probably do some more TMP. Um, you know, like what we normally have done, just because um, we got custom sounds now on TMP. So, what's up, Thomas? It says the written hour. Uh, this is the written hour from ATS mod updates from uh, Keith Davis. This is one of my faves, man. I love his. I love his flatbed. This is actually, I think this right now is the old one from Dro. Um, he just gave Keith permission to update this older trailer of it, so it doesn't have all the new stuff. Because I think he's got. I'm mistaken. I think he's got all that, like in a, 
on his Patreon or whatever he went to. All right, yeah, let me know, Cap. <laughs> From Canada. Well, they're gonna send it to me for free, so. Yeah, it's it, it'll be part of their, uh, you know, their part of their replace policy. So I just have to send mine back to them first, and then they'll send it to me. So I was like, man, you know, I thought about buying, but it's a 1,200 watts. What I what I had, so I, you know. I mean, I, I had a really, <laughs> had a really big uh, power supply, so I was like, well, I thought about just buying one myself, and then I was like, I saw how expensive the 1200 watt ones were, and I was like, oh wow, <laughs> wow, y'all are kind of pricey right now. <laughs> so yeah, they're replacing it. So we'll be back, kind of fully up and running. I'll, I want to break out the three wide ATS, and uh, we're gonna do it upright. Hopefully. Hopefully y'all like it. Alright, 10 miles to destination. Uh, we are in the Utah expansion right now, so uh, you can time in exclamation great AM for Great America. And also Bear and those guys have been uh, dropping this link in here for uh, Ratro development. Uh, we got his uh, little Cascadia little edit here. Uh, so get a little free edit here of the Cascadia, the 48-inch uh, sleeper, the mid sleeper. And the wheels are his also, so if you like the, uh, the straight-up custom rims on these, if you like the Tudor rims on there, you can buy them too. There you go. Paint a bare boat throwing up there for you. I like the low RPM on this thing when it when it first takes off. I like it. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Uh, you can, RJ. Yeah, you can use you can use a keyboard. You can use the controller, uh, and then all of the peripheral wheels that you want to. Yeah, you don't you don't need all of the stuff that I have. I enjoy the setup. I enjoy building and do quite a bit of racing as as well. So, I've got some upgraded components that I uh, that I do use for the the racing side that are a little overkill for trucking. So, yeah, you could definitely do this one with minimal. I think when I first started out, just to just to be completely honest, <laughs> when I first started out, I actually grabbed a joystick from the flight uh, just to have a joystick to control it with my throttle <laughs> and then be able to turn the thing for left or right just to make turns. It didn't work out too great, but, you know, I was like, it was better than the keyboard. Um, so I think I'm going to have to, yeah, let's, let's see if I can see if I can screw the UE in here again. That's what we'll have. Yeah, yeah, you can use PS4 controller. Yeah, plenty of guys use game pads. You thumbs get a little tired in the uh, turns, but yeah, you can do it. Yeah, there's plenty of guys that drive ATS with the controller.
there it is. Hey, Asia Boy 423 and Wilfred Collins. Thank you guys for the subs. There it is. All right, let's go back to the screen. Uh, yeah, so let me see if um, let me see if I can uh, a couple things. So C Pain and White Bear have been throwing up the two. Those are for the truck and the wheels. Uh, exclamation great in, great a oh, wait a minute exclamation great a m uh, will get you the link. Are oh, you talking about the little the little one there, Wayne? The the little small block, the small block DD. <laughs> there you go. So that's the there's the map and all of that stuff. Um, and then uh, and then I'll find you guys real quick here. Hmm. I think I can. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can actually. I might be able to. Hang on just a second. I had all of this stuff in there. Uh, where did that, where did that, where did that, where did that, here it is, megas, all these mega files, uh, but it doesn't tell me which one. Mm -mm. Oh, man, y'all are some lucky dogs. Man, look at there. All right, so there you go. There's the uh, trailer, if you guys want the trailer. Uh, and I will uh, I will update this here as well. I'll update this and save that, and we'll update it in the uh, in the main description. That way, you guys will have that and the retro development. So, uh, can you get a short out? Mm, possibly, uh, potentially. Don't really know. A short out. Yes. What's up, man? And Lord McGuire and Keith Casper. Man, I'm so. Man, I'm so. Y'all have no idea, man. That brings me a lot of a. Uh, Brings me a lot of joy the fact that that works again. <laughs> oh, that's good, good, good stuff there. I know he meant a shout out. I was just being funny, man, being facetious. I right, configure butt box and assign it just like you do anything else. Their face. Yeah, well, it's good to be back in action, even though it's on the old PC. It's still, it's still doing a job. It still kicked through pretty good today. I, I didn't. A few little issues. I had a little, little slowdown issues doing some things, but. Over and all, it it wasn't uh, it wasn't too bad. So, uh, but I'll, I'll be glad to get back on the old one just because I'll have all my stuff on it. But eventually, what it'll be is I'll have all this stuff updated so far that I'll be up to date, and then my old one will be out of date whenever I get my new PC back up and going. So it'll be this never ending revolving cycle. So hopefully, it'll be the last time I have to tear into it. Actually, you can see it up on the uh, it's actually there on my table above the the right here. <laughs> you can see it there in the back. Sitting over there on the on the on the bench. Yep, this one is USB plug-in. Most all the button boxes are. Uh, there's just some board in there that communicates, and you assign the buttons to whatever you want them to do. Uh, what's that in the right-hand corner? Right-hand corner. Uh, where's right-hand corner? Which one? This. That's my shifter. So that's the splitter and the fat stuff. That's what y'all might start Sterling. Max Rosales. What's up, man? Absolutely, Manny. Thanks for thanks for stopping in and hanging out, man. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, I saw that there, uh, Mr. Freightliner. That's good, man. No problem there, Jeff. No problem. Uh, well, hey, Kellen, let me know. Um yeah, let me know uh, in Discord or put it up there what what issues you're having. We can, we can probably help help get you somewhere along the line there. <laughs> Auction my old rig off and sign it. Well, the thing is, um, I'm uh, it, w it would be like in in ancient days it would be kind of fun because you know it's my my first original like first built pc you know um so it would be interesting to see what what but but <laughs> oh the moving camera oh yeah you can barely see it well i i'd have i would have to flip this thing over there and i just didn't yeah i just didn't care to do that that was the only thing i, I like the moving camera i like it a lot it's a really cool 
thing, but it doesn't work the same if I put it on the other side. It doesn't look the same, mainly because where the rig's at in the room. So, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice Cobra. Well, hey man, you guys, uh, you know, I always try to share and like and and also uh, pull some of those those photos out and um, um, you know, share some of that stuff on Twitter and all that other stuff. So if you guys got pictures of your box and stuff, this DM to me on Discord. I much appreciate it. It's a uh, Discord info is uh, either exclamation Discord. Um, Breaker one nine Thunderwolf, what's up, man? Fifty one fifty with a five dollar closing. It's down. What's up, man? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, so this should, yeah. So let's give you a link for Discord, and you'll get a couple in there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, Streamlabs decides to work now too. Oh, look at that! Wow, it's that fancy, man. Good on you, Streamlabs. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, what's up, Jeff Snyder? Well, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, so I've got way too many guys to thank. Um, so let me filter out um, our, our subscribers and let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, all right, here we go. Wonder, actually, just to see. Uh, re-upped his members. Thank you there, just as he appreciated, man. Wanderer uh, with a 50 Canadians in there, 41s on the U.S. side. So thank you there, Wanderer. Appreciate you, man. Cobra Gaming connects with the tent. Creations, not connections. <laughs> What's connections? Woo! Cobra Gaming creations with the $10 there. Willie Thorne with $5. Brian King with the 20 Still putting him on the top of the monthly donos. So thank you there, Brian King. Appreciate you, man. Monthly 75 with the 5 Uh Josh Willis with the dollar tip. Appreciate it, Josh. Uh, Mr. P. McClanahan, 91, with the $12. Appreciate it, man. It's good to be back. Jabber Jones with the 10. Timbo with the 10. Edible with a 1. Greg with the 5. And Thunderwolf, Thunderwolf, 51, 50, with a $5. Super chat. So appreciate it, man. It is uh, it's good to see everybody. Hope you guys uh, have a rest of the great night. Uh, Fink, uh, 92. It's good, man. I like it. I can't wait to see some mods in it, but yes, I like it. It's really smooth and really good. I don't like AI traffic. I'm just going to tell you when you got eight trucks is not bad, but when you start putting like, you know, 20 trucks in a convoy, yeah, AI is just, it just can't do it, man. It just can't do it. <laughs> just can't do it, man. So anyway, hopefully, uh, yeah, they get some stuff ironed out. We get some more mods in there, which will be good, um, and uh, get some more updates on that. So, and hopefully, I guess it'll be going live here pretty soon, and then ETS will get their version. So that'll be uh, cool as well. So don't forget, if you guys out there, um, we'll also be uh, rolling live this week. Um, my plan is right now to go ahead and do uh, ETS on Friday, and our plan on go ahead and do Saturday. So if you want to join on those, join in the Discord. And then I'll put everything up early, like, say, lunchtime or, or earlier um, so that everyone has plenty of opportunities to get in. It'll be on to the official convoys. And also, if you're in another Discord, maybe with another company and you want to ride, just let me know that you're going to be there, that you'd like to ride along with us. We don't care. We just want to know. We've had so many people that just troll us in those, those instances. It'd be really, really, really nice to just let us know that you're going to be there. Um, and that way we can, uh, you know, make space for you or just, you know, um, you know, not kind of cut you out of the convoy. Um, but you also, the reason I say that is you can also follow out of the discord. So if you guys want to follow that into a channel or a convoy channel in your own discords, then you can sub, uh, basically just subscribe to that convoy channel. Whenever I make announcements, it'll automatically post in your discord as well. If you guys want to partake in that. So it's up to y'all, but other than that, man, um, I know, and I got it. I got to get on the ball, Greg, and I got to get these, I got to get these pre-order things done, man. I just totally just completely bombed <laughs> on all that stuff. I it was terrible, man. It was right before Easter and it got busy. And then I've just totally dropped it since, man. I, and especially, too, since we lost the stream and stuff, I just kind of was like, well, I'm going to take a break from everything. So that's what I did. <laughs> What's up there, Trillero, Trillero Billy? Good to see you, man. <laughs> oh, that sucks, Pink. <laughs> it sucks, man. Papa, good to see you guys. Thank you all very much. Uh, we'll be streaming again. Um, all right, Greg. All right, man. That's sweet, man. Yeah, the AI can be dangerous. Yeah. Absolutely. So I will, uh, well, should be back tomorrow. Um, but um, let's see, what's today? Tuesday? Well, today's Monday. Uh, yeah, so we'll be back and do some stuff this week. I plan on doing a little racing this week, test out that just to see how it streams. 
um, and just uh, just to see whether or not it you know looks right and looks good um, outside of ATS. But then we'll be convoy this weekend. So anyway, it's a little bit of an update on this week. Other than that, uh, you guys take it easy, and we will uh, we'll see you here in the next uh, we'll see you here in the next live stream. I always forgot how to, how do I even sign off anymore? I don't even know. So I'm just gonna stop it here, and then I'll see you guys in the next live stream. So peace out, guys.